Did you know that eight in 10 consumers say they consult online reviews for local businesses? And three in four of those consumers say they trust online reviews as much as a personal recommendation? Those stats alone should be reason enough for fitness studios to create a strategy for generating more online reviews. So in this video, I'm gonna break down a few simple steps to increase your reviews online and how you can effectively manage the haters. Google any competitor in your area. Chances are they have 20 to 40 highly rated reviews. Now Google any big box gym in your area. Most likely they have hundreds if not thousands of mid to low tier reviews. The reason, well, these big box corporations, they have systems, they have processes for asking members for multiple reviews. They just don't offer a great experience and community that you do. So use this to your advantage to scale your reviews by the hundreds. But where do you start? The answer, it's actually pretty simple. You have to ask. Only two types of people will leave unsolicited reviews the people that absolutely love who you are and the people that absolutely hate you. Everybody in between is just too busy with their lives to remember to leave you a review, any type of review, whether that be positive or constructive. So you need to ask, but the timing in which you invite someone to review your business, that matters. The best time to ask for a review is immediately after they sign up as a new member or after a set period of time in which they have gotten results working out with you. You wanna automate these touch points so you can scale your review strategy. So here are a few great ways you can do that. When a member signs up, provide them with a physical or digital onboarding packet. In that packet, have a piece of paper or a digital attachment that highlights your online review pages and incentivizes them to leave you a review. It could be a t-shirt, uh, it could be a free nutrition consultation, it could be anything of value that actually is gonna get them to leave you a review. The most important thing is that you or your staff go through this new member packet during the sign-up process and walk them through step-by-step -step how to leave you a review and how to get their gift, of course. I don't recommend asking too many reviews across multiple review sites. While it's definitely important for you, the more you ask of someone, the less likely they're gonna take action on that thing. So focus on the big one or two, you know, the Googles, the Facebook, and leverage other opportunities to increase uh, reviews on Yelp or, or yellowpages.com for another time. Okay, so what about those members you signed up before you had this new review strategy in place? For those members, you'll need to leverage your studio software. You'll wanna create an automation that either informs you how many classes they attend in a certain period of time, or an automation that delivers an email or text to the member after they attended X number of classes in a certain period of time. But keep in mind, you don't just rely on a given time frame or a given number of classes, because it doesn't tell the full story. If I've been a member for six months but attended two classes, I probably have not seen results. And the same could be said for someone that's attended 30 classes in 10 months. What's most important here is your messaging. So take some time to develop persuasive copy with a strong call to action. So you're probably thinking, well, what if they aren't happy with the results? And that's a fair question. But if someone isn't happy with your service, wouldn't you wanna know and address that as a business owner? There's no better place to address these issues or concerns than in a public forum, unless you're doing anything unethical. And then I would encourage you not to ask for reviews. If you disagree with me, and I'm guessing some of you are, most likely you're not doing anything unethical. You just don't know how to respond to constructive or even negative reviews. I'm gonna break that down, but first, it's important to understand that more than half of consumers expect businesses to respond to a negative review within a week. So if you currently don't respond to negative online reviews because your favorite Instagram influencer slash spiritual advisor believes addressing anything negative impedes on your force field of positivity, I'd encourage you to get off Instagram and go find a business consultant. We can help with that too. Loud Rumors Performance Consulting Program has already helped hundreds of fitness studios increase their revenue and their profits. In fact, in the first 30 days of the program, our consulting members are averaging a 28% increase in revenue and a 99% increase in net profit, all while working less in their business. If you're interested in jumping on a strategy call with one of our performance consultants, I've included a link in the description below to schedule a free session. Okay, so back to responding to negative reviews. There's an amazing book by Jay Bear called Hug Your Haters. I would advise anyone offering any type of service, any type of service at all, read it. Jay also did a GSD episode with Loudermer CEO, Mike Arce, specifically on how studio owners should respond to online reviews. Basically what Jay says is that 40% of all customers' complaints, they'll happen on stage, meaning through review sites and social media. So in a sense, customer service for a local business has evolved into a marketing skill set. So you can no longer ignore these reviews and you must address them in order to affect potential customer's perception of your business. Keep in mind, the customer is not always right, but they always must be heard. What's important when managing bad reviews is to take accountability. Yes, the person is probably not right, maybe not right, but own up to the fact that you may have done a poor job managing their expectations or their perceptions. Acknowledge the person complaining, own up to their concerns, and attempt to win them back over. 
If that's not something you want, then wish them well and move on. But this type of response will go over well with potential leads looking at review sites or social media. And if you have a good strategy for generating more reviews from your awesome members, they may even chime in and back you up. I'll leave you with this. Once you have a process for getting a ton of more reviews, add touch points. There's no reason why a single member can't generate multiple reviews for you. I know I dropped a ton of stats in this video, so please check out the description below for those sources. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, give it a comment below, and subscribe for more videos just like this one.